Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. And compliments of the season to you and the first lady and the first family. My name is Paul Shingongo. I work for KBN TV, also known as Kenmark Broadcasting Network. I just have one question for you, Excellency, which I want to begin by commending you, first of all, by being consistent in holding the press conferences quarterly. As per your promise, these are important engagements for us as the press. My question, a certain section of society are worried and uh, concerned over your working relationship with um, our one of the Vice President. There are indications, Your Excellency, that you are sidelining the Vice President. Others have wondered why the Vice President is rarely sent on assignments outside the country. Even just presidential inaugurations, we see Minister of Foreign Affairs, Honorable Kakubo, being the one sent to those assignments. It had to take Secretary to Cabinet to also convince the Zambians that even when you are outside the country, she's the acting president. He had to call for a whole press conference just for that. Your Excellency, I would love to hear your comment on this, as this has worried many Zambians. I thank you. Paul Shingombo. Some society members are worried about the Vice President, president being discriminated by the President. I don't know anything about that. That's news to me. You have to tell me what you know, which I don't know. We work within the law. The Vice President has a role to, to do under the Constitution. She performs that role. I know maybe partially where you are getting this narrative. It is, this, is, this is what I call side shows. Huh? A poor. This is a side show. Honestly speaking, my friend, you are teaching me something I didn't know since I formed government. We formed government. Her role is in the Constitution. It's legislated. As the role of a former president is legislated. It's in the Constitution or in the secondary laws. Every time the president is out of this country, I sign something where she is the acting president. Every single trip I take. She's here. Maybe she should answer the question. It's good she's here. And uh, I will ask her to add on, actually. The mic is there. Every time I travel, even if I'm going for a day only, I sign an instrument. Secretary of the Cabinet is there. Now you are saying it took him to explain. What do you mean? He does what the law requires him to do. So it is that smell you drive because you felt HH will never be president. That is where this is coming from. There's nothing else we are saying here. Because you are uncomfortable that somebody you didn't want to be president is president. And the only way the country will be normal is for her to be the president. That's when you will feel comfortable. Those members of society who feel like that. Because everything is legal, it's there. All the instruments, maybe Mr. Kango, you can also come and compliment my answer. Because it's necessary once I'm done. So we do this thing once and for all. 
when the president is out of the country, she is acting president. When she is acting president, she cannot attend parliament because she is the president that time. She cannot sit in parliament. When the president in the country, she is the leader of government in parliament. When she is acting president, she will not sit in parliament. This is a story being parroted that uh, she is being demeaned because when the president is out, defense minister is the acting president. No. Then she nominates the defense minister, she herself, or someone else to be the leader of the house. I don't even get involved myself. It happens automatically. I don't know whether it's cabinet. Is it you who does that? It's, it's, it's her who does that. So if you have an issue with Lufuma, raise another matter. <laughs> Lufuma is a citizen of Zambia, as she is, as I am. I know one day there was someone else who was acting leader of the house. I think Lufuma was not in the country. You you would know better. Uh, was it Jack or someone? You have a roster. You will explain a bit. So I think she will explain a bit more. I think it's important. This is really what is typical of Zambians, eh? to bring other mediocre things that really have no basis. And I repeat, mediocre things, which have no basis at all. And the speculation, the narratives that, oh, the president should only come from this region. That is the issue now. That is the only issue now. How do you think fellow citizens feel when you think that they should never produce a president? What do you think they feel? But who are you anyway? For you to be the only one to take the president, who are you? Who are you? Which law are you using? Which constitution are you using? So that's what happens. She can't sit in the house. She delegates, as I delegate to her, she then delegates the chain continues. Right? That's what the issue, the issue of travel. <laughs> she just returned from Geneva now. Just now. I think she will speak for herself. You must have been there for 10 days or so. Maybe 7 days. She will speak. She does travel. The other day she was representing me in Tanzania. The issue about the Minister of Foreign Affairs, that is his portfolio. The Minister of Foreign Affairs is the first, the two people who are faces of the country's foreign policies, the President and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs is doing his function. You don't like the name Kakubo? You have a problem with that? You are asking where he was born? That's not my job. That is his duty. I must be strong on this matter because this is what goes on and this is what occupies social media. This is, these are the narratives, divisive agendas, trying to create division inside UPND because there is no division inside UPND. Mm. Oh, no, 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 UPND has chosen Combo as the, the new president. In UPND, there's a system there. And someone now wants to say Combo is the one taking over from HH and not the vice president. Again, back to the smell of ethnicity. That's what it is. Let's call things by their names. This is what it is, uh, Paul. I think as a young journalist, sometimes people ask you to ask questions. You must examine the questions they ask you to ask on behalf of people because then you really become the one who looks a little bit bad in a case like this. Yeah? So I would, I would suggest that um, the Vice President gets a bite on this one um, and then um, the Secretary of the Cabinet. He didn't need to explain that. I am the one who told him to explain, by the way. Oh, I'm the one who said, call a press conference. And I said to him, wave the instruments. I think you waved the instruments. You carried them, eh? Yes. So I hope this subject can be dealt with 
Vice President, her only Vice President is here. I don't read any issue. We perform our functions constitutionally. That's the way it should be. Anything else, you have to amend the constitution. You want something else, go and amend the constitution. You are the one who make the constitutions. <laughs> Simple as that. So. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.